Welcome to Jesus Calling for June 23rd. Let my love stream through you. This is going to be a good one. I need his love streaming through me. Let's look at Psalm 52.8 and Deuteronomy 31.6. Psalm 52.8 says, But I am like an olive tree, flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. I will praise you forever for what you have done. In your name I will hope, for your name is good. I will praise you in the presence of your saints. Deuteronomy 31.6, here we have Joshua is going to replace Moses as the leader of Israel. And it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Let my love stream through you, washing away fear and distrust. Hmm, I need that today, don't you? A trusting response includes me in your thoughts as you consider strategies to deal with a situation. My continual peace is a promise guaranteeing that you never have to face anything alone. My children teeth on the truth that I am always with them, yet they stumble around in a stupor, unaware of my loving presence all around them. How that grieves me. That's interesting to think that it grieves God when we don't trust Him. That's interesting. When you walk through a day in trusting dependence on me, my aching heart is soothed. Gently bring your attention back to me whenever it wanders away. I look for persistence rather than perfection in your walk with me. Oh, I'm reading that last line again. Let's back that one up. Okay, so gently bring your attention back to me whenever it wanders away. And then I look for persistence, not perfection in your walk with me. I like that a lot because who's going to have a perfect walk with Jesus? I'm not anywhere near perfection, but just persistence and just always really trying. And that's just what he wants from us every day, just to say, God, I'm going to follow you today, even though today is hard and I'm having some really hard days lately, but just being persistent and just following him. So that's really encouraging to me. And let's go back and look at the top also. I love that. Let my love stream through you, washing away fear and distrust. And it says washing away fear and distrust, not just maybe helping it a little bit, you know. And it's just so true. When we don't trust God, it kind of is a slap in the face to Him. I know sometimes I don't trust Him. And so, God, I'm sorry about those times. Because really what we're saying when we don't trust and believe in the plan is like, God, I don't think your plan's right, right? But I know it's so hard because I'm in a waiting period right now and it is really hard. I just, I don't see any progress. I don't see any conclusion. I don't see any plan. But I just need to keep trusting that he does have a plan and that I am just going to trust in him and I'm not going to worry. And I'm just going to trust in his plan and try not to worry. And I hope you do that too today because you know how important you are to him. You matter so much to God. So I hope today you just throw all your problems up to him and just really, really trust him because he, my friend, cares for you. I do too. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, NancyJoyToYou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.